Welcome everybody to Cup with Gup PGA Tuesday Tidbits Wells Fargo Championship Edition. Gup here as usual every Tuesday. Quick little five, ten minute pod. Go over uh, kind of deep dive results. What I felt um, since doing the original pod and consuming some industry um, information as well between reading articles and podcasts and stuff like that. Just a little kind of in between pod between smash factor and our final Wednesday mover and shakers. And then all the premium content that comes along with it. As always, you smash 20, get 20% off any package that includes a free seven day trial. Now includes weekly packages. You can use the code on and get the seven day trial. Plus if you want to upgrade later, your, your, <clears throat> your discount still goes towards that. And all that includes our Warrior Room private premium member Slack channel. So now when you join, even as a week weekly member, you can get into the Slack immediately, check it out, see what the community and family is all about. If your package expires or you leave, it'll automatically uh, remove your access to the Slack. So no harm, no foul there. If you want to give us a shot, now is the time to do it. We are ramping up. If you want to do a month package, you'll basically get five weeks. So I'll get you all the way through the PJ Championship plus some pack, uh, a couple more tournaments after that, almost up to U.S. Open. Hopefully by then you really like what we're bringing to the table for you. And that's not just golf. That's everything. We don't do things by sports. We don't do add-ons. We have two packages. Really, it's content analysis. So you get all of our articles, all the information we bring you, the private Slack, the private um, chats, all that. Or you can get the full site access, which gives you all the tools. Our green machine lineup optimizer, which is growing by the week. By football season, we will have virtually every sport and slate in there. Customizable stacks, rules, all kinds of stuff. Um, you can come in there and check it out for free for a week and see if you like it. Highly recommend it. <clears throat> Let's get the listener league filled up. A 1K to first, flat payouts, limited rake, 500 total entries, top three, get GC swag if you tell me. So if you get top three in a week, DM me, um, let me know your name. I'll go verify it and you get a free GC swag, $50 credit as well. Get that thing filled up and let me know if you win or finish in the top three, you will get a $50 credit to our store. You, <clears throat> YouTube comment winners will be tomorrow on the movers and shakers on this pot. You can get enter twice yesterday. Um, go listen to yesterday's pod to figure out for today, favorite play in the 10 K range. So go subscribe to us and like the videos on YouTube. That helps us a lot. And rate and review us on iTunes. We will have a big drawing again for the PGA Championship as we do every major, as we did for the Masters. One big winner will come for people that rate and review us. It goes a long way. Truly appreciate it. Go ahead and do it now. Once you get it knocked out, you're in the drawing. You don't have to wait to the PGA Championship. I pull them all. I see them all. I read them all. Um, so get that knocked out. It's an easy way to get into a big drawing for some DFS money and other stuff during PGA Championship week. Tidbits for me today. Top, so I'm gonna, I switched up a little bit. You guys tell me the feedback. Not going to be a long pod as, as usual, but <clears throat> let me give you the, my top, my current top 10 in no specific order in ownership um, as I've run my first model and algorithms and all that kind of jazz. I have Hovland, Neiman, Rom, Willie Z, Trangali, Finau, Wallace, Connors, Homa, and JT are my 10 highest own. No specific order yet. Um, a little, little. Hmm, I would say Trangali kind of. I thought he, I talked about it on Smash that he could get steamed up this week. If he's going to be in the top 10, I will not be owning him. I'll be passing on him. Um, I think he gained almost 10 strokes short game last week i'll i'll fade that and hope that doesn't stay up this week at wells fargo uh matt wallace is one that kind of i thought he's gonna be one that we were on it really wasn't gonna get talked about but i've heard him on there i've read him in some articles so i hate to see him top 10 we'll see that that may be he's he's borderline but we'll see how that shakes out the others really don't surprise me homa jt um probably a name i thought i'd see up there and he's close is bryson but i I think people, because of how much love for JT and Rom there is in general, um, Bryson could get squeezed down sub 15% this week. I think you're going to see people go, ah, I'd rather save 200 bucks and play Rom, or I'd rather spend up 300 and play JT. 
Um, we know Bryson's aggressive style, you know, winner go home type mentality, MME mentality, if you will, for DK, but he may get squeezed and maybe, you know, we have to take a look at it. I do think, I think X will be, we'll get to it right now. Um, my potential sleepers and low owned right now, guys that I like that are looking really, you know, stand out in the, in the rankings. I got Cantley at five to 7%. I'm not super high on him, but I'll take a Patrick Cantley any week at 7%. I mean, I can have 10% or what I mean, you know, 11, 11 and a half percent and be one and a half X to field. I'm fine with that. Um, Munoz is a guy that's kind of shooting up my rankings as, as I'm deep diving in. He's four to 6%. Malnari, he's a guy I didn't, did not catch my eye at all until after I ran some stuff today for the premium members, his last three, Albeit 2017 wasn't at this course, but in 2016 and 18, he had a 16th and a 17th. And then Eagle Point, which it's not, it's not quite hollow, but it's, you know, somewhat similar, uh, 24th. So pretty good record over, over there in that area. Um, he still doesn't like pop pop for me, but he's going to be two, two to 3% probably, maybe 4%. So that's a name that kind of moved up the board for me. And then Pat Perez, um, where's old Pat at? Again, nothing like crazy, but 7,000 even. He got a eighth in 2019. So that's on this course, pretty much how to play. A 67th at Valero, miscut at RBC, and then a 29th last week at Valspar. So kind of, you know, okay form coming in. Played well here, obviously. He got a second at Eagle Point again. I know Eagle Point's not the same, but second at the Wells Fargo back in 2017. I don't hate Pat Perez moving up the board a little bit. He's going to be in that 3 to 6% on range as well. Guys that I got marked as lower than they should be. Number one is Rory. I just maybe I'll die on this hill. Um, you know, if I do, it is what it is. But I don't. I don't see him. I guess people just obviously his expectations are so high that we do we you know some people are like do we grade him higher than we should? Um, you know, I don't know that. Um, what I do know is his ceiling is to win. And so if I can get him at the cheapest option in the 10K range at right now, I got him at nine, 10% range. Now it was called nine to 11%. I'm going to play that type of guy every week. Um, again, I did it at the master for similar reasons. He didn't play so well, but his, I mean, he's still got pretty good cut, you know, make the cut equity and then can get hot at times. You know, I mean, you, Rom's finishes, while he's been great, I'm not going to take anything away. Him. There are several of his finishes that are kind of hovling like where he really, I think the reason why he's not on a lot of people's minds, he's on everybody's mind, but is because like, he's not really been in these tournaments, even the masters. Like, I don't really feel like he was ever in it. He's finished strong on Sunday several times this year to kind of get in that backdoor top 10, look really good. Um, finish strong type deal, but never really come out storming per se. Now he has here and there, and I, I like Rom. I have no issues with him. I think he'll, he'll probably be one of the highest owned on the slate, but that'll be the only question mark there. I'm I'm probably going to get Rory at almost half the ownership of Rom. I, I mean, with Rory's history here, I'll just I'll just take that. Maybe that changes by tomorrow. We'll see. Second is Shoffley. I'm not a big huge Shoffley guy anymore. I was on him very early in his career. I was on his both his first two victories. Um, third at the Masters. I don't know this course is the best for his game. He can certainly like, – he can win here. I'm not discrediting that. But he is 72nd in 2018. Hasn't played since the Masters. Um, not saying that he's going to shake off rust or whatever. Bermuda splits. He's 82nd in the field on the putting splits for me. Bermuda versus, um, you know, the standard. And so, although he's 8%, you know, he's one that I'd be flirting with. Do I even want to put him in the pool? The only way I put him in the pool is if I feel like fading two of three between Bryson, Rom, and JT. If I fade two of those guys, then maybe I bring him in because I'm not going to be playing Webb. I don't really care what Webb – Webb's going to be somewhat low-owned as well. He'll be 10 to 12 13%. Uh, I just don't like him here. I don't, I don't like, uh, you know, he can probably do well, and he probably will, and, and I'll just have to eat it. But you can't play all these guys up there. I mean, you, you eventually spread yourself too out, too thin, and so you got to start making cuts there. Next is Bubba. I think Bubba's going to be 7 8 9%. I love that. I love his price. I love his form. I love where he's at. I liked him yesterday. I, I like him at sub-10%. So Bubba's going to be high up on the list. And then Aaron Wise. Talked about him a little bit yesterday. I heard a couple mentions of him. Nothing real super strong. Um, I got him about five to seven percent. 
could get as high as eight, nine. But again, the 18th and second here, the last two years out, um, 44th at the Valero. He's 36 in stats, which all that together is just a really solid player, a good potential. But he's only 7,100, so it's not like I need him to go out here and win this. If he comes in here and finishes 19th, you know, or 22nd with some scoring upside, um, that's that's all we need out of that. So I like Aaron Wise this week. Weather as a weather update is perfect. It absolutely is going to be a great week for these guys. Some win, nothing crazy. No rain at all. They're, they're done with most of the rain today and tomorrow. These systems that are just coming through the whole basically southern U.S. right now. So they'll have some spot showers here or there, but nothing once Thursday tees off. So it's going to be a great weather week. We really don't have to worry about that. We don't have to worry about weather stacks or anything like that. Don't forget, and I mentioned this before, that if you're doing your research um, on Gup's Corner in our database, you can easily click. You can click and unclick the 2017 Wells Fargo so uh, if you don't want to include the Eagle point and you can add the 2017 PJ championship if you want. So however you want to do that, that's up to your call. Just make sure if you're using someone else's site, make sure you have that capability. So you don't pull in Eagle point statistics. If you're really trying to hone in on course history stuff, some people don't even look at course history or course fit, or they just go by my ranking. So that's fine as well. I hope you guys have a blessed week. I'll be back tomorrow for Wednesday's movers and shakers. Thank you.